Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This time we're going to be looking at five asteroids that we didn't see coming until they whizzed by between the Earth and the Moon. Now these close encounters happened over the past year and a half from January of 2019 until the present time. Now if you like this content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell and let's get on with it. All five of these asteroids have orbits that are relatively close to Earth's orbit and they at one time or another passed very close to Earth between the Moon and Earth. And we saw none of them coming until they had gone by, which means if they had hit, we would have been surprised. As of now, there's not much we can do if we see one of these asteroids coming. We just have to hope that it is small enough to break up into the atmosphere or hope that we see it coming some 10 years in advance. And then maybe we will have time to think of some way of stopping it. The solar system is big, but it is filled with stuff zipping by every which way, kind of like a shooting gallery. Here you can take a look and see how the orbits of some of these things look edge on. The first one we're going to look at is 2020 CW. It passed by the Earth at a distance of 9,730 miles on February 1st of 2020. Now, as we go in and take a look, you can see that it is just over a meter and it probably would break up when it enters Earth's atmosphere. And its orbit means that it probably will keep coming close to Earth a few more times in the future. But most of its orbit takes it far enough away from Earth that we don't have to worry about it too much. The next one we're going to look at is called 2019 UN13. And it came 3,852 miles of Earth on October 31st, 2019. This one is about 2 meters wide and its orbit is a lot closer to ours. And, and if it ever gets into Earth's atmosphere, it probably will break up. The next one we're going to look at is called 2019 AS5. And it came 5,343 miles of Earth on January 8, 2019. This is another one that's 2 meters big. And its orbit is even closer to Earth's than the first two. Now, just because they're small doesn't mean that they can't cause damage. Remember what happened in Russia a couple of years ago. The next one we're going to look at is called 2020 JJ. And it came 4,300 miles of Earth on May 1st, 2020. Now, this is the biggest of the bunch at 6 meters. And that means it probably wouldn't all get destroyed in the atmosphere. The good thing about this one is that it has a very long orbit, so it will spend most of its time away from Earth. The next one we're going to look at is 2020 CD3, which passed very close to Earth twice that we know of. And the first time was in April of 2019, when it passed at 8,153 miles away. It also came within 25,000 miles of Earth on February of 2020. Now, this one is unique in that every so often, its orbit is so close to Earth that it gets captured by the Earth and becomes a temporary moon, but that doesn't last very long. Now, this one, at 2 meters wide, will probably break up in the atmosphere if it ever gets close enough to hit, and the best time that we think is going to hit, that has been calculated anyway, is going to be in September of 2061. Now, keep in mind, these are only the ones that we didn't see coming. There's a whole bunch that we only had a 24-hour notice before they went zipping by Earth. Now, these are called NEOs, Near Earth Objects. And if they are bigger than 140 meters, which is 460 feet, then they are called PHO, Potentially Hazardous Object. Now, if they're asteroid, which most of them are, then they're called NEAs, Near Earth Asteroids. And that's because while most of them are asteroids, there are a few comets that we got to watch out for. Now, there's over 20,000 NEAs that we know about and over 100 NECs, which are Near Earth Comets, that also we got to watch out for. Which is why the U.S. and other nations have developed Space Guard to catalog as much NEOs as is possible. At first, they were only looking for the big ones, and 
then they realized that they should be looking for the small ones too because a small one can destroy a city. They think that they have found most of the big ones that could cause a global disaster by 2011. So now they're concentrating on finding all of the small ones that could potentially destroy a city or a town. This is why all these different nations, NASA included, is busy sending spacecraft to asteroids and to comets because the more information we have about them, the more prepared we will be and the safer we will be. Well, I want to thank you for watching and listening. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And leave a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video.